Next on our lineup is the inspiring story of Ahmed Salami, an 18 year old vlogger living with autism, cerebral palsy, and ADHD in Abuja, the Nigerian capital. Now, despite his condition, Ahmed runs a YouTube channel where he uses his platform to share his personal journey and inspire others like him. Have a look. I see myself on the big stage. There's people screaming my name. Oh, man, so lovely. Oh, man, so lovely. My name is Ahmed Salami. I'm an 18-year-old vlogger. I'm living with autism, cerebral palsy, and ADHD. When I was little, I was literally written off. They wanted to take me away. They said they didn't have no talents. But look at them now. Hey, what's up, guys? We're back again with another video. The other one, Ahmed Salami is back with these videos that I make. I need my channel to show my everyday life and the problems that I keep having. Also, use my channel to show people that I'm having fun, even though I'm having some challenges. It's still cool. He began to speak at six, and he began with stammering. We didn't think it would work well, but with the help of speech therapists, he, he's, I think, an orator now. Why did you take the picture? Which Why? picture? We exposed him to the internet. He's always had a computer because he, he can't write. Then, to the internet. Then, he began to, I don't know how he got to YouTube. But he went to YouTube, saw videos, came to me and said he wants to be a content provider. Okay, so let's quickly take this one, then you do your live stream. Okay, tell them how they should treat children with autism. Because I didn't really want to regulate what he puts out. I had to be the one behind the cameras. Sometimes he says, I want to talk, see my mom. Mommy call. I said, no, it's about you. Bravo! <laughs> yes. Now that he has gotten to this level, I can actually begin to dream that probably he will do something else for himself. At some point, we had no dream or hope for him. You know, when you have a child, even from the time the child is small, you start asking the child, you want to be a doctor, you want to be a pharmacist, you want to be a teacher, you want to be a policeman. You know, you have dreams. But when we have a child like this, the only dream you have is for him to be alive the following day. I've never felt like I'm not enough. I'm not going to lie, I'm actually smart, I'm intelligent, and I'm destined for something great. Yes, Ahmed, the sky is indeed your starting point. Way to go. Still to come here on Just Nigeria from the BBC and Channels Television. Kenya community shows unconventional approach towards surrogacy. How, you might ask, we'll bring you this story at the other side of this break. Stay with us.